Hot off the press from Maybelline New York, it's new Lifter Plump, an intense plumping lip gloss formulated with chili pepper to deliver a heated sensation for an instant plumping effect that lasts. From eight sizzling shades like Blush Blaze, Red Flag, Hot Honey, Coco Zing, and more, an extra large wand applicator transforms lips in one swipe. Learn more at Maybelline.com. For a limited time, get 10% off your Lifter Plump purchase on Amazon with code 10 Plump. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love whatever this is. I am Patrick Serrano, and I am a Lifetime Movie Expert, <laughs> whatever this is. I'm Dan. I despise Lifetime movies, but I love whatever this is. Yeah. And this is the Deck of the Hallmark. What are you doing? the Hallmark, it's this podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. Hope you like this Hi, everybody, and hello, Patrick. How are you, my friend? That intro Doing sounded great. like we never podcasted before. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, not you're not wrong. Uh, it is great to be here today. To, to, you know, we're a five day a week podcast. <laughs> yeah, you and I, we, it, we do it. We do yes. a show five days a week. We do. And over the years, we've added like different things. Like uh, we've done a ranking show. We do preview shows now. Yeah. We do some random fun things. We do. One thing we haven't really cracked Shit. is like games. <laughs> we how not, do we? How do we get into we that have not game market? Games yet? That and is correct. I said, who better to crack the game market? <laughs> right. Than my friend Patrick. Um, yeah, yeah. And so I texted Patrick and I said, hey, could you come up with a game show? <laughs> and, and that was did. about the parameters I gave you. Yeah. Wow. That, that's and, it. And what a guy. Didn't He didn't just say yes. He would. He said he would love to. Yeah. He would love He's to. He's a lifetime movie expert. He's a lifetime movie. So this is a lifetime themed game show is my understanding. And without further yeah. ado... Let's introduce our host, Patrick Serrano. Patrick Serrano. Hey. Oh, yeah. So welcome to the Lifetime Game Show, where we turn your favorite TV movies into games. Woo! Wow. And if you're, and it's wa- a show. If, if you're watching on Father, Father.tv slash DTH, you can see Patrick in all his glory with his mic and a dream catcher. Yeah. Uh, to catch all our lifetime dreams. To catch oh, all our I lifetime dreams. Also, I, I don't know if I do want to catch all my lifetime yeah, dreams. Yeah. Some of those. Oof. I, some can be a nightmare, but sure can. you know we'll we'll catch them in this little dream catcher. That's right. I, I got tired of looking at my microphone all the time, so I put a dream catcher on it. I love it. No, it's a nice bit of flair. All right, Patrick. Better than than in my car. You know. Explain to us. Was it we have in your car? <laughs> no, I'm saying that would be dangerous to have oh, dangling okay. in your mirror. Oh, oh got okay. It. You, yeah. And you would never do anything dangerous in a car, of course. Got it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right. Safety first. Safety first. So. The the you know the game part might have uh, been lost in translation as far as like me being a game show host, but um you know that's so fine. he is not cracked I, games for us. <laughs> no, I have. I love okay. Uno. Yeah, I okay. love. I love. Uh, what's a game show? I love um, Wheel of Fortune, uh, Jeopardy, oh, Hollywood Squares, The Weakest Link, my, my Price favorite. Is Right. Mm, Ga- none, uh, none of them. Deal or no deal. <laughs> I, I, I don't floor. think I watch. Game I don't shows. think you like game shows anyway. I, I, but um, but yes. So um, I have a few segments of of games. Okay, okay. so our first it. game um is going to be called. Let's see. Let's come up with a fun name. Uh, <laughs> this is this is called uh, could a could a lifetime or should a lifetime? Okay, could a could a lifetime? Could a lifetime? Should a lifetime? Coulda, coulda, Got it. Yeah. So in this game, we are going to, um, we're going to play clips, okay? okay. Um, and then the clips are, are just for us to listen to. So the, the viewers at home can play too. And uh, um, you're going to decide if it, if based on the clip only, no other information, is it a, is it, wait, could a, if a, <laughs> Could, could have been a lifetime movie means that it it, it it is it is and should have been a lifetime movie means that it should have Both been of but those it's not. imply that it's not i i think we got to come up with a better name for this uh, how about would have been <laughs> you're right could have should have would none of them that's all were. regrets that's all, <laughs> all could have should have would is in the same boat um, you're right 
Look, we could go uh, lifetime or or nah. <laughs> lifetime or no time. Lifetime or no time. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Lifetime so, or lifeline. I don't know. I'm trying. Let's yeah. go lifetime or no time. We'll crack you know, the games. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get, get, get there. there. It'll, it'll happen. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Brand, I'm sending you my first clip. And, you know, don't look at the clip because it's obviously a video. Oh, clip. wow. Okay. <laughs> this is stressful. Um, so just play it, but like close your eyes or something. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I think okay, this is more has, than fair. How about has this? Been delivered. How about, can you can you play it, Aaron? Oh, you take oh, control Aaron, of my yeah. phone. No, no. <laughs> it is like I don't catch things. It should it should it, it, it should work wirelessly. <laughs> All right, let's find out. Oh, let's see. Right, try it. This woman is from the embassy. I need to take my talk. Huh? Hello, my embassy. Betty Boyard, Maso, Beba. Nah, 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 impossible. Charles goes to father. No. You don't understand. He's going to kill me. I have to get my daughter. Madam, you wait. Husband, come. I, I want not. my baby. Madam, madam. What's my baby? Madam. Scream. 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 The State Department wants you to go to the Iranian foreign minister and ask for his help. No. The State Department can't do anything. They can't help me at all. Don't you know that? They don't even understand the culture. They'll only make things worse. Madam, you wait for your husband. Tell her I want my baby. I want my baby. My name is Kula. I cannot. Please. Please. Okay, I think we get it. Um, how dare us okay. cut that off? Wonderful. Okay. I know. I, I, so, I, so intense. I am going with no line. No, no time. No I'm time. going to go with no time. I think that this is a soap opera and is not a Lifetime movie. I also am going right. no time because it seemed like the dialogue was way faster than anything I've ever heard in a yeah. Lifetime movie. That is why I'm going with no time. Final answer. Amazing. Uh, Aaron, do you have a guess? Oh. Um, I'm just going to say that the visuals are not helping it, to guess. Um, it could really go either way, but just for fun, Lifetime. Oh, I can't believe Aaron gets to play. She's going to win. Right? Okay, so uh, this movie is called Not Without My Daughter. Ever heard of it? No. no. You it have? Stars. I've heard the title. I okay. haven't seen it. It stars Sally Fields as a woman who is uh, married to an Iranian man. She goes to visit his family and then they don't let her leave the country and they try to kidnap the daughter and say that she uh, belongs to the husband because women don't have any rights in Iran at this time in the 80s or whatever. And this movie aired on? It was a movie movie. A theatrical was, release. A theatrical release. Okay. Yes, Whew. not without my daughter. All right. Oh, but, all right. So you and I are on the board. We're tied, tied for Aaron missed it. Yeah. Points? Yeah, I please keep track of I would points. love for you to keep yeah, track of that'd points. Why, why else are we playing again? Why am I here? Why That's right. That's right. That is true. There you go. There you go. So, okay, our next movie. Lifetime um, or no time? <laughs> lifetime or no time. I'm going to send the clip. Lifetime or prime time. There oh, it is. That's not bad. Lifetime or oh, prime time. Okay. That, We're cracking games. We're, We're cracking, cracking games. We've cracked, I think we have now. We've cracked it. Yeah. We've got it. All right, Aaron, and, do we have an. No? Hold on. No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't come in yet. Wait for I it. love that we're doing sending them in real yeah, time. In real I time, mean, because Brand's not watching, we could probably send them. Send them all early. Yeah, yeah you could send them all early. Okay. Send them. Oh, that's a good fire idea. five clips. Okay. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Dan. Yeah, let's do it. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Do you remember your great aunt Virginia, born in 1902? Now, she was the first woman forest ranger, and I mean, that was before women were allowed to be anything. I mean, she lived all alone in the Appalachian Mountains, fighting off the elements, staving off bears. She lived quite an adventure, excuse me, adventurous life. Everyone in your family always refers to her as poor Aunt Virginia, the childless one, the virgin. You miss my point. You can grow up to be anything you want. I just want to be a good wife and mother and make my husband happy. Look at this stuff. It's disgusting. Well, I thought that's why you wanted me to bring you here to buy maternity clothes. Are you crazy? It's bad enough being pregnant without having to look like a total loser. Oh. Well, you should have thought of that before you had sex. Oh, oh my. <laughs> wow. And that's that's the clip. Wow. I'll go. We can all try going first. Um, man. I'm going to go... 
I'm going to go lifetime. Um, and I'm going to go lifetime because of the last line. You should have thought about that before you you had sex. I think before then, I was like, this sounds like it's like lifetime, but not quite. It's a little bit different. Um, but something about the younger a uh, woman's voice sounds super familiar, like she's a bigger deal than Lifetime, and so I'm worried. Yeah. But I'm going to go Lifetime. I'll go Primetime. I, I, part of this is I don't really know when Lifetime started, so but it definitely sounds older, <laughs> and um, I'm going to go Primetime. Aaron? Um, I did accidentally see the title of this movie, so I will not be voting okay. because I do know the answer. Very great. Patrick? There you go. Okay, so this movie is um, well. I realized that in my game, I I um, did something backwards. So um, I'm going to tell you the title of the movie. We've cracked games. We've cracked games. And, and that's it. And that's it. Now, I'm not going to tell you who's in the movie because that's a, that's that's another another game where we're going to get. Oh, I see. Oh, you there. don't want to spoil other. Yeah, I got you. Yes. So this is a lifetime ah, movie, yes. and it is called 15 and pregnant about a 15 year old who gets pregnant before teen mom was cool. This wow. was the teen mom for so this, a younger. This, when did it come old. out? When did it come out? Like 1995 wow. or four. Okay. All right. Okay. Good to know. Got Good it. to know. How many, how yes. many clips here are in this first round? Uh, we have four clips. Okay. Four great. Clips. So we got two, two more, more left. Just All right. <sighs> oh, here we go. I forgot to send, but I'm, I'm sending them both. Right. <laughs> Fire two clips all day, hands, hands. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. But, okay, you got it? I have one. We'll find out which okay, one it okay, is, I perfect. guess. Here we go. Hit it. Hopefully they came in the right order. Out of the car. What the hell do you think you're doing? I called the police because I thought somebody had stolen the car. Did you think you could take Peter's car without even asking, huh? Really? That's it? No apology? Are you... Listen to me. You know you're not a part of this family, Heather. You're only here because of my grandchild, so don't make yourself so damn comfortable. Because Connor won't have you, ever. I am just so sick of you, you meddling bitch. You just can't leave us alone, can you? I mean, don't you get it? I am having your son's baby. Me. That's right. The girl from the wrong side of the tracks. Is that what's so horrifying to you? That I'm not good enough? No, what's so horrifying to me is what kind of person you are. Mm. Manipulative, conniving. In fact, I'm now really worried whether you're even a fit mother for my grandchild. <laughs> Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Don't you mess with me or my baby, Diane, because you will be so sorry. <laughs> I'm going Lifetime, uh, based on the music swell there at the end. I Listen, I've seen a, few, I've seen a handful of these. And I know when a, I know when a lifetime movie is go, about to go to a commercial break. It swells like that, then cuts to black. Lifetime all day. I've not seen really any lifetime movies aside from that Will Ferrell one. Uh, I well, I did watch one for your show in 2018. That's I true. take that back. Um, I'm go. I'm going to go prime time, okay? Because this sounds like a soap opera. Like I could feel yeah, the the that's... how it looks. That visual image of the soap opera looking almost too real. That's what it felt like to me. Aaron, what did you, you know do? by watching? I do not know, but okay. I'm going to go Lifetime. Okay. Yeah. Music cues. Yeah. Music cues. Yes, this is definitely a Lifetime <sighs> movie. It does star a very prominent soap opera actress, Maeve Quinlan. Okay. Um, who you may know from, you know. Uh, soap operas. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You would recognize her. You would recognize her. Like her most notable, oh, Bold and the Beautiful. She was in Bold and the Beautiful. Oh, yeah, we watched. We actually bold watched a handful bold of episodes. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we're bold. Um, she's all right. bold. She's beautiful. And that one was called uh, Double Daddy. Devil Devil Daddy. Daddy. <sighs> Double Daddy. Double Daddy. Double. Double. <laughs> he's yeah. daddy's two. He's the baby daddy for two mamas. Got it. Okay. And then um, they start the mamas and the papas. <laughs> it is tied. Great games. At, at, uh, two apiece. Two apiece. That's right. Yes. Okay, here we go. Last, Last one. one. Last one. Will we go into the break tied? Or will someone take the lead? Let's find out. Here we go. We're, We're going to hit it now. We're going to play it soon. It's okay, sweetheart. Nice. What mall were you at when you were abducted? Fashion Plaza. Fashion Plaza. Okay. Oh, I saw the one that's downtown, right? 
Okay, okay, it's okay, sweetheart. Calm down. What's your last name? Wilson. Wilson, okay. What's great is I don't know if these sound the way they do because they're older because it's Patrick that got the audio. Yeah, right now. Oh, look, you're a Capricorn. Me too. You know what that means, honey? What? We're fighters. That means we were born to fight. So you know what I want you to do? I want you to fight. Okay? Can you fight for me, Casey? Yeah. Okay. Good girl. Okay, Casey, can you describe the man who grabbed you? Was he black, white, Asian, Hispanic? White, okay. Is it, yeah, and just normal. Okay, what does normal mean? Do you have on a hat? I just know. normal. Sunglasses, sunglasses, you're wearing sunglasses. Okay. Can you guess his age, Casey? 20s, 30s, 40s, 30s, I think, like mid, mid 30s. 30s, that's a good girl. Yeah. Okay, great. Honey, what color is the car? I think it was like red or maroon. maroon. Okay, do you have two doors or four? I think it's four. I think it's four. four. Okay. Are we good, hey, Patrick? Are you doing great? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay, good. good. I'm 100% confident I know this one. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, yay. I noticed the, when so, I figured it out, I watched your face and I think you figured um, it out. And so I can go first and give give it away. No, let's say it at the same time. How about that? Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Prime, Prime time. time. Um, when you're a child, uh, it was born in 1983, and you watch a little movie mm-hmm. called The Flintstones, and you have an immediate crush on one Halle Berry. Um, <laughs> you, you then watch yeah. other Halle Berry stuff, and you learn what Halle Berry sounds like. <laughs> And that is Halle Berry. Wow. It is Halle Berry. Yes. Wow. So that is a lifetime. I didn't recognize Halle Berry's voice, you know, from my time stalking her. Yeah. No, um, if it makes me sound but, creepy, it is what it is. I don't know what you want from me. That's uh, Halle Berry. But, but, uh, it just, Brand, did you recognize the other voice? I didn't recognize any of these voices. I'm, I went primetime um, just because it kind of sound, it, it. I don't know. I didn't get lifetime vibes from it and the way in which it sounded and built in that scene. So that's what I, that's what I went with. Okay. You both are correct. It is a primetime movie <laughs> called The Call. The Call. With Halle Berry. I saw it in theaters she, with Daniel Pandolf. <laughs> well, it's. It's a great, it's a great movie. It is. A, she plays a nine one one operator. There you go. Is so, it a great movie, Patrick? <laughs> oh yeah, and she helps little Abigail Breslin, uh, who's been kidnapped from the mall because she's you know a tween at the mall with her friends. Fair enough. There you have it. Fair enough. The call. We're, we we're all tied up after one segment. We three games. Three apiece. We have I'm cracked cool. games. We're going to continue to crack them on the other side of this break here on Deck, Deck the Hallmark. One in eight. That's how many people have worked at a McDonald's. Who we'll serve millions the best Big Mac and best birthday party they've ever had. Who <laughs> haven't just seen kids graduate from a Happy Meal, but have gotten help graduating themselves. Because they know the skills learned here. Bienvenidos. Welcome to English Under the Arches. Can Por help favor, you grow Adam. from here or keep growing here. Hi, welcome to One in eight. Start at McDonald's. And when you start, stays with you. Hey, parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. Welcome back to Deck the Hallmark. Today's episode uh, of uh, is very special. The yes. Lifetime Trivia Palooza. annual Lifetime Trivia Palooza. We're you very know, excited you know about, about it. We are currently totally. tied at three apiece. And Patrick, you are ready for segment number two, I believe. Yes. Okay. So this is, you guys are going to rank <laughs> the act actors or actresses um from most likely to be in a lifetime movie to least likely and i will tell you if you are correct how how is that what <laughs> how can gonna, how can that be isn't it just they're either sounds, in one and they're not that sounds subjective well, this, is, this is a team a team challenge so you guys will work together <laughs> but either they're in the movie they, or they're not <laughs> Right. Yeah. Got it. So, okay. Like, <laughs> no, I think it's pretty I clear. I think we we sealed so, games. Okay. I don't think, 
I'm glued and shut. <laughs> we cracked him. Okay. Three, three of the actors have been in or okay. haven't been in Lightsaber movies, and one has. Okay. So most okay. Like, so, okay. most so we just have to. So we got to basically figure out which one was one of four that has been in a Lifetime movie. Yes, but I want you to rank them because I want to know like who you think the, the most likely right. would be to be in a Lifetime movie. And there's as a right as- and wrong answer, or is this just for your benefit? Uh, the ranking is, I just thought it would create a fun dialogue. Okay. Where we could, you know, just, but uh, we are trying to figure <laughs> out the one person that yeah. has. Team challenge. Yes. yes. We'll go from least likely to most likely. Okay. This is as clear as, as you've ever, ever been. been. You know, uh, my, my theater director used to say, clear as mud. And you'd be like, clear as mud. Yeah. That, so this is clear as mud. Clear as okay? mud. I love All it. right. Give us our first four names. All right, our first four names we have Kirsten Dunst, Dakota Fanning, Hillary Duff, and Natalie Portman. Oh, this is tough. Well, I think least likely is Portman. I think Yeah, from, that's what scares me is it's it's she's clearly the least likely. From star quality, I think I think she's too much. I feel like it's probably Dakota Fanning. I was going to go with Dunst. I think maybe before Spider-Man or something, maybe she did a lifetime, you know? I think I would go Portman, obviously the mo- the next most Duff. popular is Duff. Uh, <laughs> no. I just think Duff did did Disney Channel and then didn't really so do anything. So you think it's Portman, then Duff. Then Duff. Then, then uh, Dakota, Dakota Fanning, then, then Dunst. Dunst. And I... I think. How about how about two. we how about we don't work as a team? Well, we can rank them, <laughs> okay, and can, then if we disagree right. on who is in the movie, you can pick one. Right. I'll pick the other. I, I, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, Dunst. Dunst. I'm going the, Fanning. Okay. And while you guys are you know noodling this over, they are all actors who like were child actors, right? And now are adults. So there's a lot of time for them to to make a lifetime appearance. Which makes yeah. me think it was Natalie Portman. I, are you sticking with your answer? I'm sticking. I'm sticking with. Dunst. I'm going to stick with Fanning. I'm going to go with Fanning. Okay. And and the ranking of least likely no, this to is be not... in a lifetime movie to the person who was actually in the lifetime movie, I would go least likely Natalie Portman. Yeah. 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 We got that answer. Good right. answer. We did, it. we did it. We did it. Least likely. Uh, up next would be Hillary Duff. Yes. Right. Hillary yeah. Duff. yeah. 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 We did it. All right. Here we yeah. go. This is where the rubber meets the road. Right here. And now the runner up for least likely to be <laughs> to most likely. Movie the runner up for is, most likely. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Yeah. Dakota Fanning. Dakota Fanning has never been in a lifetime movie. Nice which job. leaves nice job. Kirsten Dunst. Nice job, buddy. Who was the voice that you recognized on the Whoa, clip from oh, Fifteen and Pregnant? That's why I recognize the voice. She was the fifteen and pregnant person. How there about that? There you have it. That, my friends, is how you take the lead. We had a new leader, four to three, <laughs> and clearly, I mean, you can still make up ground. And this, I and this, yeah. are there more of these, or was this one just one? This was it. Oh, we have we have three more. Great. Okay, great. Hit it. Um, oh, fun fact about the fifteen and pregnant. That Please. was the first lifetime movie where they produced the movie themselves. Oh, very oh, cool. Oh, there you have cool. it. Cool. And was this before Dunst was really uh, popular? It Had. Was- in between, like, Interview with the Vampire and... Yeah, that's why I didn't think it was it hers, because she okay. was in Interview with the Vampire. When did Dunstan yeah. check in? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I mean, then, honestly, this whole... I, I, I will be honest, this whole episode was for that joke. Uh, there you we go. did it. We did it. Congratulations. All right. Our next batch of actors are a little bit younger than the uh, previous group. Uh, we have... America Ferreira. Okay. Kristen Stewart, who's in the new bodybuilding um, movie. And if you haven't seen it, it's uh, pretty crazy. Um, Jennifer Lawrence Mm. or Anna Kendrick. Okay. I would say least likely is Jennifer Lawrence for me. So I think those other three. Yeah, I would say the least likely is Anna Kendrick. Jennifer Lawrence was in the Billing Vol show. (laughs) On TBS. But I, I I think, okay, I think Anna Kendrick, she was discovered and up in the air. Like nobody, she had not done anything, I don't think. I could be wrong. I don't think that's true at all. I think she actually, I, I think I was in Stewart is actually at the bottom of the list for me now that I'm thinking about it out loud. And what's the other this one? Is my, America Ferreira. I'm going America Ferreira. 
That's who I'm going with. I'm going. Here's my Ferreira's here's my, my list. Least likely, Jen Law, America, Stewart. I'm going. Anna Kendrick has been in a Lifetime movie. Anna Kendrick at the bottom of the list. Oh well, Jennifer Lawrence is such a big name. I think that's the the problem is is that. But she was on the Billing Vol show on TBS. She was not doing much until she was like almost twenty. I mm-hmm. Anna Kendrick least likely. Then Kristen Stewart, then Jennifer Lawrence, and then I'm going to go with the last one. Who was who's left? Oh yeah, America Ferrera. So wait, who do you think has done America one? Ferrera? You think America yes. has done? Yes. One? Okay. Okay. I guess uh, I guess Anna Kendrick has done. Okay. Right. I think they could be any of them. I really do. Well, this is the thing, right? So the actors who have been in Lifetime movies range for like they could be That's Oscar right. winning actors. That's right. Susan Sarandon's been in a Lifetime yep. movie. Octavia Spencer's been in a Lifetime movie. I mean, yeah. you never know. You just never know. Go All ahead. Right. I'm Hold sorry, Aaron. Go ahead. Can I make a quick guess? I don't know the answer to this, but can I make a quick guess? Please do. Of course. I think Kristen Stewart's been in a Lifetime okay. movie. I think it's I possible. Think she might have. I think the thing There's is, is that... a specific movie I'm thinking of, and I can't remember if it aired on Lifetime or not, but... but Portman... Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. America Ferrera, Anna Kendrick, and who's the other one that's not Kristen Stewart? Who's the other one? Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. They've, all Jennifer three Lawrence. of those have been nominated for an Academy Award. Like all three of those have. So, like, these are some heavy hitters we're talking about here. All right, oh, yeah. let's hear it. Three different answers. Right. And I think all three could be possible. I really Who did should. you go? All you right. went with America? America Ferrer. Yeah. Least likely to be in a Lifetime movie is Anna Kendrick. Yes. Ah, she of has, course. She has no time. She no. Has no time. And, she, and you're right. She didn't have a career before. She did not um, have a career before air. Up in the Air. Okay. Got him. Up next, America Ferrera. Oh, wow. Not in a lifetime movie, yeah. but she could have been before she, you know, got ugly all this Betty. Barbie stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 Between Ugly Betty and now, she had plenty of. Yeah, she had a lot of time. What were you exactly. Say, she was Disney Channel. Yeah, she was. Uh, Got to keep. I it just up. thought in between Ugly Betty and and her comeback, I just felt like that was the window. But I think it's yeah. gonna be Kristen Stewart now. Um. Then. Oh, hey, your microphone yeah, just okay. changed for some reason. Oh no. Yeah, it went to that. that. Yeah. Weird. Uh, can I switch it? Yeah, you can. Nope. No, can't do it. This is a this is a oneer. There's nothing we can do. Wait. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. No. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Great. Jennifer Lawrence is the runner-up. Kristen Stewart. Yes. She. Uh, did have that weird time where she was in like me and stuff. She was in like a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. And that means that the person that was in a Lifetime movie is Kristen Stewart. She was in 2004, a movie called Speak. Yeah, that's where what she I thought plays it was. a selective mute entering high school after a traumatic summer. Selective mute? <laughs> Some life, by the way. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what a selective mute means, but that's what the description said. Yeah, so something traumatic happens to her and she stops talking. Okay, so she's not just like sometimes. Mute. Yeah, like she just stops talking. Okay, got it. Man, selective right. mute. That was a I tough took one, it Patrick. as occasionally. Yeah, right. It's different. Yeah, got it. All right, so so still four three. Still four three. We got two yes. more. Two more. Okay. Two more. Let's go. Okay, this one's for the boys. Okay, we got the boys up this in here. For the boys. This one's for the boys. Sorry. And your list of, of potential people who were in a Lifetime movie include Jason Momoa, <laughs> Tom Hardy, Toby Maguire, or Chris Hemsworth. Wow. The bottom of that list is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's not been in a Lifetime movie. 100% not been in a Lifetime movie. Um, I think J- Jason Momoa is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a black horse here. I think. Is that a say? It's a dark horse. Dark horse. You were, you were, were you thinking? That's, that's, <laughs> were you thinking black sheep and dark yeah. horse? Did, did black yeah, horse? Yeah, I think we should take it out just in case. I don't know, man. Did, did black horse open for selective mute when you saw him? There you go. There it is. All right. I think he's the dark horse and the black sheep of the family. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that. Toby Maguire is meant to throw us off because we had Kirsten Dunst earlier, Spider Man. That's what I think. I think Tom Hardy is at the bottom of the list. Then I think Toby Maguire, and then I think the thing about Hemsworth and Momoa is, is they were well. Him, uh, Momoa wasn't acting long before Game of like, Thrones. This is wild, right? This, I I like I like no. Hardy Maguire 
Momoa, Momoa Hemsworth. Hemsworth. That's what I like, too. Okay, let's go. I, I, Hardy I, Maguire, I, Momoa, Hemsworth. I like Final that. answer. Okay, wonderful. Um, from from least likely to most likely. And okay. This is as clear as Christmas. And do not announce the Black Horse. <laughs> right. The least likely to be in a Lifetime movie. You're right. It's Tom Hardy. Yeah. He's never. He's, he's been acting too long, and he's too hot. <laughs> Fair. He's too hot. Next. Toby Maguire okay. has had yeah. Uh, yeah. on again, off again career. He could have done it, but I, you're right. This. I threw it in there because Kristen, Kristen, Kirsten Dunst. Oh my god! <laughs> and yeah, she listens. You better be careful, yeah. Kristen. Right? And now for a runner-up of our challenge <laughs> is <laughs> Chris Hemsworth no! is the runner-up. Jason Momoa. He was in a twenty. A uh, 2003 movie wow. called Tempted. So he was he played, before Game of Thrones. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. He played a, a shirtless hunk who falls in love with Virginia Madison. Virginia sure. Madison? Yeah. Okay. That's what he said. <laughs> I added an, I, I added an, a letter. <laughs> All right. Wow. Still 4-3. Four, 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 we, yeah, we, oh, okay. we both missed it. 4-3. Yeah, you're right. Still 4-3. Four, four, three. Three. Last, our, last uh, game of, of round two. Our final um, grouping is... The Dianes. Oh, the Dianes, no. okay. Diane Lane, Diane Keaton. Who else? Princess. Diane Lane. Diane Lane. Diane Keaton. Yeah. Diane Kruger. Or Diane Weist. I don't know who Diane Weist is. I have to be Weist honest, is. I don't know who any of these people are. Oh my gosh, Brian. <laughs> I'm going to go with Kruger. You don't know any of them? No. Kruger's in uh, last place because I that's no, the only one. Freeze. That, Diane Keaton is in. I do know Diane. I do. I do know. Yes. Diane okay. Keaton can't be in a life. I do know movie. Diane. Keaton. Let's let's clear this up. So Diane Lane, unfaithful, most notable for Unfaithful. I haven't yes. seen. It. Yeah. Um, it's a great movie. Oh my gosh, it's so good. There's a snow globe in it. You'll love it. Okay, great. <laughs> Say no more. I'm going um, Keaton. Kruger. Wait, wait, I'm telling you who they are. Who they are. Diane Kruger was in Inglorious Bastards. Correct. Okay? She's ger- she's a German actress. I haven't seen. Okay. It. Um, oh my gosh. Wait, isn't she also National Treasure? That's uh, probably, but I've, oh maybe. I've never, yeah, I have seen. I have. I seen don't National know the last one. Okay. The last one you said. I, I don't was know. Just trying to help Brand. <laughs> Diane, to a bone. Diane Weiss. Yeah. Diane Weiss. You would recognize her. She's like redhead. She's like very. She kind of reminds me of. Um, the lady from The Exorcist. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, say no more. I think Diane Keaton can't can't be. Han- th- Hannah and her sisters. Hannah and her sisters. That's Diane Weiss. Okay, so I think Diane Keaton can't be. I think Diane Weiss sounds like the obvious choice, which means I'm going to put her second. So then I've got Diane Lane and Diane Kruger. This is wild. I, maybe I'm just making it too easy, and it's Diane Weiss. I'm going to wildly enough, I'm going to go Diane Lane. I'm, I'm going to go take Diane a flyer, Lane. and I'm going Keaton. I love it. I love that. Okay. Love it. Least likely to most likely to be in a Lifetime movie. Yeah. The least likely, Diane Kruger. Oh, She's German. She's German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. good. Yeah. She's not going to do a Lifetime movie. Up next, Diane Weist. It's going to be not Diane Keaton. That's so unbelievable. Lifetime movie. Uh, which Diane, runner-up, <laughs> is Diane Lane. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Let's go! And You're up Diane five to three. Keaton has been in three Lifetime movies. Oh, my. Three! The yeah. first one was in 1991 okay. called Wild, Wildflower with a young Reese Witherspoon. Wow. Wow. Okay. 2003, my favorite one, it's called On Thin Ice, where she plays a widowed suburban uh, housewife slash mother who is selling meth to make ends meet yeah Fantastic. she's got to she has to and, and that's so uh, many people's story one that you guys might have heard of uh 20 wait 20 2008 a uh, smother where she's like a, a mother-in-law like a smothering Smother, mother-in-law God, to dex, dex shepherd um yeah man that there you have it well Learn something new there every you day. Go. I, I I feel good. We're going we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and we will go into the final round where I am up five to, to three. three. Yep. And Aaron has two, and she's not even she's playing. Not even so playing. that's actually really impressive. We'll be right back. Yeah. Aaron, take the homework. She almost beat me, and she's not playing. <laughs> People are driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. With over 350 million global monthly visitors, Indeed's matching engine helps you find quality candidates fast. You get to ditch the busy work. 
Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. It's not just about hiring faster, though. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Don't search. Match with Indeed. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. Just go to Indeed.com slash podcast right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Hey, parents. Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. Welcome back to our annual Lifetime Trivia Palooza. Palooza that's right. Uh, we have cracked games in the game cracker uh, himself. I shouldn't say that. Let's get Patrick in here. You Patrick, can't. welcome back. Oh, yes. Okay. For the third part I'm so this, sorry, y'all. I, I am so sorry. What happened? For just the way that I've been today. I... I I've said so many things accidentally, and I just, I apologize. And I'm sure there's things I haven't even caught. Look, you know, it's all in context, right? Thank so, you, it, Patrick. It would be taken out of context. Thank you. Oh. That's not, not your meaning, not your intention. No. Black horse in the game. <laughs> what are you okay. doing? Um, our final, <laughs> our final, final. Yes. Um, Aaron. Can you search me on Spotify, like me, actually, Patrick Serrano, um, and Swiss. play my my one hit song that I have? <laughs> and then we'll play, and then I'm going to send you a video for the next segment. <laughs> okay. But, I thought but this the, was the, the last segment. This, well, this is, but I'm saying, like, the, it has an intro. Oh, it has oh, an intro. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We have to do the intro. Got to. And the, the intro is my number one single on Spotify. Did you find them, Aaron? How's it going? Okay. The, she wasn't planning on, on going to Spotify and All doing right. this. So I, I, Okay, great. All right. Hit, hit the track. The one and only? The one, the one, the and one only. song? Yeah. Number one, number one song. I love that this is out there. By me. Number one song is by it, me. Is it happening? It's playing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. throw it to me. Throw it to me. <laughs> Man, we are We doing know it tech today. stuff. What? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Okay. What you say? Uh, uh, Candace uh, uh. It's a great song. It is. On my wedding day, catch up, okay. Candace hates the games. Candace Cameron <laughs> Drinking rose, eating creme brulee. Can't share with me. Candace Cameron Yeah. Yep. What you say? I don't. How? What do we? Bop. It's a great song. But I don't know how this plays into oh, our lifetime trivia palooza, oh, but let's find out. Okay, sorry. Well, if, no, hit it again, man. What a okay. bop. Um, you can you can keep the phone, Brand, because oh, okay. you're going to be playing the clip I just sent you. Okay, um, the one with Candace. We're talk about it. So if you're not familiar with the segment, we watch Candace's Instagram and then we talk about it, okay? Um <laughs> I, I follow her, so you don't have to. But I actually unfollowed her, so I had to like go back and refollow <laughs> her, and then uh, get this. Uh, you know, I've been blocked before, so I was worried. But but I I am that's for brain and learn about black horse in the game. Cracker. So, but wait, what? yeah. <laughs> so what's the what? Uh, how do we get points here? You'll see. You'll okay. see the points. Are Just kind trust of the game. We'll All right, play so it, play it and play, play, play it play it in its entirety. That's right. Okay. Hi, friends. How are you? Good. You're good to watch. I hope that you're having a great day. Go. I I just wanted to get on here and give one little last shout out for the movie Just in Time, the sweet, sweet Easter movie. And it is it's so good. It's such a redemptive movie. Um, redemptive through marriage and oh, um, no. childbearing. And there's even a mystery in it. 
the God stories of how the, the song at the end of the movie happened are so incredible. God blessed us like literally days before we started production um, with, with the people that I just mentioned and just put puzzle pieces together that I could not have tried to do on my own. You know what I mean? Like God just kept, he was like feeding me little breadcrumbs and one led to another. And you guys are going to want to stream the song that's at the end of the movie sung by Luke and Megan. And it's an original song that he wrote. And um, I hope that we have a place to do that because you're going to want to listen to this song in full. It's so beautiful. I've listened to it on a repeat, but I just have like a little file on my phone. So I hope he streams it. Anyway, um, it really helps us as a growing network when you tune in on premiere nights. And if you don't have it, if you go a couple slides back, I've listed ways to watch. Okay. okay, and that's the clip. That's the clip. So she's promoting her Easter movie yes. um, on a network. We we won't uh, disclose, but um, yeah, it's it's it, it was it was so interesting to like check back in with Candace, see how she's doing. Her hair's so much longer now. Um, oh, that's right. You know. Sure. She doesn't know how technology works, kind of like we don't know how technology works on this podcast. Um, so she's so relatable. She has a file on her phone, you know. <laughs> so yeah, what's, unbelievable. What's the rat? What do we do? She it? streams it. <laughs> yeah, she hopes you stream it. Uh, so wait, uh, what what was your question, Brand? What are we doing? <laughs> Why is this a game? Yeah. So like, how do I win? <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, how you win is. <laughs> You, oh, the first person, <laughs> <laughs> the first person to name the movie that she said just in time wins <laughs> five to four. <laughs> okay, there you go. So Dan won. What you say? And this has been Candace Cameron Burr. Is that it? <laughs> Well, yeah, I didn't really have a game for this part. So but the final, the final, <laughs> the final game was worth triple the points, from what I understand. So that is makes me the winner. Yeah, six to five. Yeah. The final, final you know, round. clear that board. Start even. That's right. Yeah, clear Make sure board, yeah. has a chance to no, win. Oh yeah, no, you won. Thank you, Patrick. This has been fun, uh, for the lifetime trivia palooza first annual. First annual next year in late March. Look for it, everybody. It's going to be great. Uh-oh. Uh, oh boy! Congratulations to uh, All involved. my favorite game show <laughs> cracker, uh, Patrick. Thank you so much for putting this all together for us. Uh, thank you, to everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next what time, are we maybe doing? We, I don't have know. We never done this with like. Are we signing off for good? Well, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. Here. I don't know how to end it. <laughs> oh, it Hope you, you crack know. games at home as well. Life, LifetimeOnCourt.com. Yeah. Uh, make sure you uh, check that out. Uh, and, Sorry, uh, everyone. Subscribe. Sorry, Jason Momoa. Sorry, Horses. Sorry, Horses. Horses. Sorry, 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 Horses. Sorry,
Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. People are driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. With over 350 million global monthly visitors, Indeed's matching engine helps you find quality candidates fast. You get to ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. It's not just about hiring faster, though. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites according to a recent Indeed survey. Don't search. Match with Indeed. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. Just go to Indeed.com slash podcast right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Hey, parents. Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. People are driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. With over 350 million global monthly visitors, Indeed's matching engine helps you find quality candidates fast. You get to ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. It's not just about hiring faster, though. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites according to a recent Indeed survey. Don't search. Match with Indeed. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. Just go to Indeed.com slash podcast right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Hey, parents. Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. Hey, parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast.